You know, maybe Alabama's just not that good of a football team this year. If you live in, uh, if you live over here in Knoxville, you might have felt it, you might have not felt it, I don't know, but, uh, there was an accident close to where I live that knocked out the power, and, well, um, we got it back after 30 minutes, maybe it should have just stayed off, though, because right now, uh, all it did was just give me the courtesy of, uh, watching Tennessee absolutely get skull drug by Georgia, and man, are we getting absolutely just dominated in every which way, you know, it, it, at least act like you belong on the same field as Georgia, this is just sad, what are we watching, <laughs> I guess this is what I get for having too much success as a Tennessee fan. Number one in the nation at that point. Uh, the football gods decided, all right, this is enough. Now it's time to uh, ruin everything. Uh, the way things are playing out right now, Hendon Hooker may be the farthest thing away from winning the Heisman. I don't care how bad C.J. Stroud played today. Uh, Hendon Hooker might just be uh, playing worse right now. This is just, this is a joke. What am I watching? Is... Uh, since when did Jeremy Pruitt come back out and start coaching Tennessee again? This is just a joke. This is sad. What are we... Seriously, what am I watching? Because this isn't the Tennessee football that I've been watching all year. So there's at least show some sign of life in there. Right now, all I see is an incoming orange graveyard. That Sanford Stadium is just... Uh, I mean, that, that's the location at which where uh, the graveyard is at. This is just, uh, I, I don't even, where do I start? I guess start where, where, where we uh, usually start, where all our problems start. The defense, that's right. Uh, Tim Banks' legendary pass defense uh, fumbles the bag once again, gives up uh, 24 points. Honestly, a shocker that they didn't give up more. Had a fumble early in the game, that thought, and I thought maybe that would have been something big for us. But no, no, uh, we turn right back around and give it right back to him. More importantly, just let him go down the field and score. That's <laughs> that's that Tim Banks defense for you. Uh, no, the risk and reward defense. Yeah. 100% risk, 0% reward. That's what we got out of here. The only reward is seven points for the University of Georgia. That's that's the reward that Tim Banks gives to our defense. This is just golly. It's the same as usual, except usually when the defense absolutely lays a big doo-doo turd all over the field, uh, the offense has at least been able to cover it up with with a, with, with a pooper scooper uh, by scoring 50-something points in a game and beating them that way, uh, say for Bama, Kentucky, and all the other teams that we beat. But now the offense comes out and does the same exact thing and lays a big orange crap. All over Sanford Stadium. And not in the good way either. We're getting absolutely skull drug on offense too. Making stupid decisions with the ball. Uh, bad, horrifically bad play calls. Um, can't figure out how to throw a football beyond the line of scrimmage. Unless it's an interception that Hendon Hooker throws. To, to try and get it to Cedric Tillman. Who it is just, I mean it's intercepted by Keely Ringo. Who was looking at it for the entirety of the uh, the entirety of the play, he was looking at the ball. Nobody was catching that other than him. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't understand. And don't even get me started on the offensive line. Well, six, six in total, I think. Six false start penalties uh, from our offensive line. These guys are supposed to be seniors and juniors. The veterans of the team. Right now, they haven't looked like they'd seen a field. They look like they just got out of high school. Our whole team looks like it just got out of the Pee Wee League. Getting absolutely drug all over the field by Georgia. Like I said, at least act like we belong on the same field as them. But fortunately, this isn't a post-game video. This is a halftime video. So, literally anything can happen. We're only down... Let's see... Uh, Doing some quick maths here. I think we're down by 18 points. Uh, so, yeah, three scores. 
Um, we've seen how quick and fast this Tennessee offense can score when they're on a roll. So maybe, maybe some things connect. Tennessee gets right back into it, and we find ourselves winning the football game. I'm, I'm of course concerned because we were out there looking like garbage. I mean, we're playing like we don't even belong where, where we're at right now. That number one ranking is rat poison. Eric Ainge running his fat mouth about Georgia's uh, Sanford, or Sanford Stadium. That rat poison too. Because he, he did ran, run his mouth real good about it. Oh, Sanford Stadium. It's not that big of a stadium. It's, it's not that... Uh, it's really not that impressive. Tennessee is going to go in there and do business as usual. Home field advantage doesn't matter if you're Georgia. Man. Make you look like an idiot right now, huh? Golly. Um, what else? I don't really have anything else to say. You know, I sure do wish uh, our, our tempo offense worked. Uh, maybe if the officials would get out of the way and let Hendon Hooker do his thing. And what I don't mean, and I don't mean that in a figurative way. Because, yeah, we've had our fair share of penalties. I mean, literally, they are standing right in front of of Hendon Hooker while he's running the tempo offense. <sighs> what a joke. What a pathetic excuse for a bunch of officials. It gets, I keep thinking that we've reached the bare low amount of how uh, badly these refs have screwed over some of these games. But then we get into the course of the, the rest of this season, and it just continues to go more and more downhill. That being said, um, again, it's a miracle. We're only down by 18 with the way George has been playing and the way that we have been playing. Uh, so Josh Heupel's got to work some magic here. He's got to show that he's a big-time coach, and this is the way to do it. And uh, same for Hooker, same for the defense, same for everybody else. Game's not over, and it's far from over the, with the way our offense can easily go out there and score, 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 score. Uh, so, of course, there's still slimmers of hope within me. I'm not giving up on this team. I don't think we're going. I, I don't think we're going to get blown out. I think we're going. Uh, I think if we're going down, we're not. Uh, I mean, we're going down uh, with a fight. That's that's for sure. So, uh, be prepared to give it your all for another uh, half. Georgia, because I sure do hope Tennessee's getting ready to give their all. That's all I have left to say. See you guys in the uh, whenever the game's over. Go Vols.